thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to Xavier Zamora, Victor Vegas, Victor Velimir Brockovic, Troy Smothers, Safe Munaz, Morad Shaker for being higher level patrons. You could join that for as little as $1 a month. There is a link down in the description below. Also, thank you to my YouTube members. You can click the join button down below if you'd like to join that. Please keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinions, my own research. I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. This is coming from several resources. Most noteworthy, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is coming from SafeMoon's official Twitter account. They said, we are hard at work on our birthday preparations. In the meantime, how about a brief update from our captain about the SafeMoon exchange? Read more over here. They provide you with the link. Ryan responded with this clapping little gif right there. So the article itself is through the safemoon.education website. It reads as follows. Captain's Log, SafeMoon Exchange, update February 2022. Hello, SafeMoon Army. It's your captain here. I'm going to try a new format today, something more personal and direct from me to you. A captain's log to keep you closer to what's going on behind the scenes here at SafeMoon. For this particular log, I want to give you a quick update on the progress of the SafeMoon Exchange. It is really important we don't announce things too early. We've learned this. Once we announce, if there is a long time between announcement and delivery, I understand the frustration that silence can bring. Waiting is the easiest thing to do, but also somehow the hardest. As we move forward, we firmly believe in delivery and proof being the objective. But I do appreciate that we told you the exchange is coming, so an update seems more than fair. There are some great ways that the exchange will complement our ecosystem, and we're excited to reveal more of those details in due course. What I do want to do today is share a bit of a changelog to provide some sense of the work involved and what's going on behind the scenes. When it comes to developing and deploying an exchange, there is a laundry list of things we have to consider. We have to ensure ease of use, accessibility. We have to make sure it is mobile compatible as that's a significant audience. We have to ensure it fits our brand language. There has to be consistency. Branding isn't just about images and colors. It is about the language, references to key help sections, and following through to other areas such as notifications and service-based emails. There's also attention we need to give to integrating the exchange into our other products. When you're dealing with cutting edge Web3, this is more complex than a regular API or library integration because those don't exist. In addition to making the connections, we need to build out the methods of connection from the ground up. We have to work on the on off ramps and all the supported wallets. Finding the right team members to deliver the vision is critical, but we're really fortunate to have some particularly brilliant minds bringing the vision to life. We must ensure a sound QA and testing process. We would be in for a tough time from all if we didn't make sure things were going to stand up to the brilliant and curious might of the SafeMoon army. We have to consider the support side. We can't simply throw an exchange up and expect it to fly unaided. We must also prepare to serve customer support requests, account requests, and manage KYC in a compliant and secure way. We make a point of collecting as little data as possible. We do not want your data, but for regulation and compliance, there are certain aspects we do have to collect. So when we must do this, we need to make the process robust. We have to consider the languages and territories we are deploying in. Each language brings not only interface challenges, but also support challenges. We want to ensure we can serve you brilliantly. We will provide more details on which territories soon, as I know, as that's an important question many of you are asking. While this isn't exhaustive, I hope it gives you some additional insight into some of the key areas and challenges we are addressing as we develop the Save Moon Exchange. Now, you're probably wondering when you might possibly expect some more updates. While we aren't releasing the exchange quite yet, we anticipate providing more updates during a special event in March for our birthday. And as I mentioned at the start, this is a test of a new personal format. I invite you to jump into Discord, Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, and let us know what you think of this format. Might you like more of these update logs for our other products? How might I possibly make them better for you?
But finally, and most importantly, thank you for being patient. Really. I know it's tough, but I am sure you're going to be very happy this year. I consider myself deeply fortunate to have you on this journey with us, and I will be, I will be back soon with another log, assuming you like this one. Take care of each other. We are family. We are safe, Moon. Yours, John. I like the format. I want him to do more. I want him to report on other products, services, things that they're doing, even if it's just a slight update, right? What is some of the hurdles that they're trying to overcome? That level of transparency, because they wanted to be transparent with us, that's what I want. You know, all these clues, the hype things, yes, it's fun to an extent, but then at a certain point, you get burnt out on it because all you have is clues and hype, but you don't have delivery. You don't have facts. Everything is so vague, and you're kind of left there wondering, is any of this even real? Is anything actually going on? Are they actually doing work, right? So I like the fact that he did this. I'm hoping that he does a lot more. He probably will, but you guys, like he said, share on social media, respond to him, respond to the Twitter account, uh, tell him inside Discord, tell the other people in Discord, do you want them to do more of this kind of format? I think that this is great. Something else to kind of take away from this too is that he said that as far as for the birthday coming up, uh, let's see if I can find that right here. While we aren't releasing the exchange quite yet, we anticipate providing more updates during a special event in March for our birthday. So the question really comes down to what are they going to do for their birthday? They already mentioned that the exchange itself looks like it's three months plus away unless some circumstances change, then potentially they could have it within three months. But we're looking at probably three plus months from now. So there's that. The Safe Moon card, they had projections before that it was coming out in the second quarter. Well, we're more than a month and a half into the first quarter. We're technically closer now to the second quarter than we are from the start of the first quarter. So maybe that'll be coming in the near future, but that would, if they fit within their timeline of that, then that means that about a month and a half from now would be the start. And then they would have a three month time span for that. But the one year anniversary is right around the corner here. So, okay, it's not going to be the exchange, it sounds like, because they're just going to have news information tied to this. It's not going to be the blockchain, because that's looking like that's going to be three months. Mandala's still trying to get itself figured out. Uh, potentially, it could be something with Binance. That would be nice if they're like, hey, we're now live on Binance. You could do trading over there. SafeMoon Connect is still on the table, although the bar has not been loaded up anymore at all with what Ryan has been doing, so I don't know about that. Uh, the Safe Moon Rewards, that kind of sounds a little bit along the lines of that other crypto I just talked about the other day. What else do we got? The NFT series, that could potentially get launched. That might have something going on. They talked about wanting to launch that with OpenSea at first. And if they're going to be doing that in the near future, they're not going to be doing it on the Safe Moon blockchain because blockchain sounds like it's going to be later, right? So it would be on like the Binance Smart Chain, for example, or over on the Ethereum side. And... Uh, so maybe we'll have some information with that. Operation Phoenix, what's going on with the Gambia? Is there going to be something else that's new? Frankly, yes. Do I want to hear if they have some new things that they're also working on that's exciting? I do. I do want to hear about it. But I would much rather have something that's like, hey, this is something new. You can go download it here. You can use this. You can go to this website. You can be able to buy it here. You know, Give us tangible things that gives the community an access point right now not potentially a year from now or two years from now or three years from now like i like hearing about those things but at the end of the day we really need to get some delivery going on here in the near future and i hope that we get something i hope that we get something for the one year i'm keeping my expectations low it very well could just be information and it's like hey let's celebrate we had 1 million downloads, wallet, see the accomplishments we've done. It could just end up being that. You guys need to be prepared for that, right? So let's kind of go in with the mentality right now that that's probably what it's going to be. And if it ends up being better than that, great. But let's encourage each other that there's a good chance we could just be getting this information and just be prepared for that. 
That's it for the video. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, guys. Go do your own research. I have referral links in the description if you want to get free crypto, free stock. You can go check those out. If you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up, like button. It definitely helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so you know whenever we go live. God bless, and I will see you in the next episode.